What's up everybody, this is Gary, and today we're doing a recent pickup video. So I guess I'll start this off. Uh, got X-Men 2 for the Sega Genesis. Um, I only played this like just for a few minutes. It seems okay, but you know, I saw it and thought I'd pick it up. Then I got Contra Hardcore or Corpse, I don't know how to say that, for the Sega Genesis. I know this is uh, one of the more sought after Genesis games. It's a little a little bit harder to find. Fetches a little higher price on eBay, but I haven't played it yet, but I've seen reviews on it and you know it's it's definitely worth it. Paid a little extra for it. I didn't pay too much for it. But yeah, that, that's the second one for the Genesis. Picked up this game right here. It's called Alicia Dragoon. Seems like a weird title. I didn't even know anything about this game until I saw a review from uh, Pat the NES Punk, which was really an entertaining review. If you haven't seen it, check it out, definitely. <laughs> but the game, the game looks pretty cool. I played it a little bit, it is pretty fun. I picked up College Slam, and it's uh, complete in the box. Got this really cheap, but I love NBA Jam and I like college sports, so it's a no-brainer. No brains no, whatsoever. No brainer. Also got Pitfall, the Mind Adventure for the Genesis. It's also complete in the box. Got this game from Vintage Stock. Got a lot of these things from Vintage Stock. Got some of them from Game Exchange. Got some of them from uh, GameStop. But I played a little bit. It seems okay. It was really cheap. So also got Arrow the Acrobat, and it's also complete in the box. Paid. Well, actually, there's a weird story. I found just a cartridge only at Vintage Stock, and then uh, the same day we go to Game Exchange, and they have it complete in the box. So I just traded my cartridge in for this, and just what? paid a couple extra dollars That's to have funny. it complete in the box. That's funny. <laughs> I know you did that. All right. Picked up. Desert Strike complete in the box for three bucks. As you can see on the price tag, you got vintage stock. I used to have this game on the Genesis. It's a really fun game. I used to play this for hours. Pretty cool. It's you can just pick up and play it for like just short amounts of time. You know, this you don't have to play it for hours and hours. But yeah, it's pretty fun. Got. Battalion Wars for the GameCube. I haven't got to play this yet, but seeing some of the reviews online for it, people seem to like it, so I thought I'd pick it up. It was really cheap, by the way. Also got Dragon's Lair 3D. And I'm a big fan of Dragon's Lair. I used to play the uh, arcade machine back when I was a teenager. And uh, so... I had to get this game. I saw it, saw that it was available online at uh, one of our local game stops, so we had to swing by there and pick it up. It didn't cost very much either. <laughs> and la the last one I got is Killer7. And this game, I haven't played it yet, and I saw some reviews on it, and some people say, you know, you're either going to like it or you're not going to like it. You you're going to hate it. But it's got a really interesting style to it. It's kind of cell shaded. Uh, like I think from the review said, like when you're walking around, you're not like actually pressing in the direction you want to go. I think you like hold down the button and you have to like go in that direction no matter what. But it's an interesting game. I, I like uh, games that are different. So that's all I got. What do you got, Austin? All right, I'm Audi. Um, here's my recent games. First, I'll start with these two. Alright, so the first one is the Zelda Collector's Edition disc for the GameCube. 
Um, I bought this for my friend for 20 bucks. That was a pretty good deal. Comes with uh, first Legend of Zelda, second one, A Grand Time, Majora's Mask, and a demo of The Wind Waker. So that's good. Then I also got Twilight Princess, but this isn't the Wii one. This is actually the GameCube one because I like the GameCube one better. As you can see, here's the disc. Um, he gave me the Wii case just because he didn't have the GameCube case, but I'm probably going to find a GameCube case for it and get the cover right for it. But I actually got this for free. Free, so Can't be very free. cheap. There you go. Um, next I got Banjo Kazooie, Nuts and Bolts. I'm a big Banjo Kazooie fan. So I figured I'd pick this up. It was only 14 bucks over at uh, GameStop. Next is Metroid Prime 1 for the GameCube. And I got that for $350 over at GameStop. And I also got Metroid Prime 2 Echoes for the GameCube. Got that for 10 doll hairs. <laughs> yes, doll hairs. <laughs> um, next is Resident Evil 1. It's the remake from the PS1 version, right? This is for the GameCube. I got this for ten dollars, I believe. I took the sticker off already. It's on the inside, so that's pretty cool. Um, going with the uh, theme of my shirt here, I got a uh, F Zero GX for the GameCube. Old Captain Falcon, this moves that he's going to show you for uh, four fifty over at GameStop. So that's pretty good. And this is probably my favorite pickup right here. I got Jet Set Radio Future in the box. Instead of the Sega GT slash Jet Set Radio Future Box for $10 over at Vintage Stock. Uh, big fan of this. Me and my friends play this a lot. So I, I was really excited to find the actual box for it. So, but yeah, but that's all I've got. So, so Gary and Austin signing off for GameStorm. See you later.